what's going on guys Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video so today we have the 86 overall foot birthday card i think it's pronounced a guest i'm not 100 how to pronounce it but i'll just call him max because that is pretty much his first name 82 pace 86 uh, dribbling sorry 80 shooting 84 defending 84 physical and 84 passing now it doesn't look outrageous but if you stick an anchor chem star on this card it becomes quite insane. 5 foot 11. He's got a decent height. He hasn't got an insane height for a centre mid. But he's going to have a little bit of an interception reach. Now the high high work rates could be a bit of a problem. But I'm expecting if you put stay back while attacking on him. Hopefully he'll actually stay back. He is 5 star skill moves which is always nice to see. But I don't really do skill moves, skill moves with my midfield anyway. So personally I'm not going to really look into that that much. The 4 star weak foot though is always going to be nice. Because I'm going to be able to cut onto the left and obviously pass with it. Now he is on a anger chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 80 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. The sprint speed is actually quite impressive if you actually look at it. But then you see on the other side the 84 aggression. That's obviously going to help that acceleration come into play. And he's going to feel much faster than what it actually says on the card. 80 attack and positioning, 70 finishing, 93 shot power, 92 long shots, 57 volleys, and 68 penalties. Now, you could obviously look at the shooting stats saying he does he's not going to finish inside the box at all, but when it comes down to a long shot, he will bang it in. But the only problem is, it doesn't matter how good your long shots are in this game, the ball still does not go in the back of the net. So, long shots wise, I'm not going to really look into that that much. 86 vision, 90 short passing, 87 long passing, and 71 curve. I like that a lot about him simply because he can pass a ball fairly well for especially a CDM slash centre mid. So he's going to probably going to be able to switch the ball from one side of the pitch completely to the other. He's going to obviously link up with the whole team as well. 82 agility, 74 balance, 87 reactions, 89 ball control, 86 dribbling and 84 composure. I tell you what, the dribbling stats aren't terrible, but for a 5 foot 11 player... I was expecting a bit more than 82 agility. I was expecting more of the 87 or 88. But at the same time, it is what it is. And he's not going to feel amazing on the ball. But it looks like he's going to feel very, very calm and composed. 86 interceptions, 85 heading accuracy, 95 defensive awareness, 98 standing tackle and 84 sliding tackle. Now, defensive awareness is obviously going to help with the interception simply because he's going to be at the right place at the right time and obviously cutting those passing lanes. Now, the standing tackle, it looks like he's going to put in a very, very strong stand ta standing tackle in. So that's always a nice sight to see. The slide tackle, it's all right. It's not outstanding, but we don't get a lot of occasions to do a slide tackle anyway. So if we do, I'll give it a go. Why not? 99 stamina simply means he's going to be up and down the pitch without a problem. 85 strength. That's pretty decently like strong for a sentiment to be fair to him. He will be shielding off a lot of players and that is something I am looking forward to. And as I said at the start, 84 aggression is obviously going to increase the pace, but it's going to make him win a, more, a lot more 50-50s. Now today I have linked him up with Bailey, Keynes, I think that's how you pronounce it, and obviously Davis. I've also got the likes of Rio, uh, Cordoba that I still can't pronounce the name. If you guys haven't seen the review, link will be in the description. I pronounce his name completely wrong throughout the whole review brilliant anyway saint maximum and suzoko is also in the team now Eg Egeston, I, I have no idea we're, we're calling him max it's simple as that his first name is max i'm not gonna go into it all right he will be playing in a 4-4-2 playing him in that center mid role but i also want to try him in that cdm role so he will be playing in a 4-2-3-1 as well probably playing with the likes of suzoko next to him but let's get straight into these games now, the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile he is on the ball. And it looks very, very slow. It looks like he's going to be turning, like, shielding off the ball fairly easily. But when you're talking about, like, dribbling past players, I don't think it's going to work. Little fake shot. Little running scoop turn. Can I get a through ball as well with the weaker foot? And it's an absolutely perfect pass. Really nice pass for him. Super unfortunate, obviously, not to get down the line, though. Oh my God! N'Golo Kante just had the just had the ball flip flat through his legs. Little touch on the ball. Nice, very calm and composed. It's weird to have a person because I don't think I've ever had a player that has five star skill moves in the midfield, and it's kind of weird to see it because I'm starting to do like little cheeky flip flats with him, and I don't feel comfortable doing it with him. Nice, that's a beautiful McGeady. Can I get a little threaded through ball to save the maximum? Yes, I can. I like how he's always giving me an attacking option, like going backwards as well. As you clearly could see there, he's giving me that like pass the passing option that not a lot of centre mids that I do find sent like struggle. I do struggle to find centre mids to actually give me that option. 
Like once again, in between both midfielders, there is absolutely perfect. He passes it to Keynes and Keynes does get a finish. And that's what exactly what I meant. The way he's like finding these gaps in between the defenders, giving me those passing options that I need in the midfield to obviously find little gaps towards Kane. And it was a beautiful pass towards him as well. And what a finish. Nice, a really, really good strong tackle. But then after that, his agility or bulk try, if you want to call it, letting him down. Little fake shot, complete switch. Can I get it? That was actually quite awkward because I was expecting him to do it with that full star weak foot. But then he turned his whole body just to get it across. Even though it did work at the end of the day, I was actually still disappointed. Nice, that's a beautiful ball, yeah. That is like three out of three times he had switched the play literally perfectly. Like he does not screw it up at all. It sits you on the player, on the spot with a certain amount of power and it's beautiful to see. Look at that. You don't get a better ball than that. Seriously, his passing in the midfield is so broken. Nice. Oh, come on. Why is he zipped over? There you go. Fighting for the ball back instantly. And that's that aggression coming into play there. Where he will fight for the ball and win the majority of the 50-50s. Nice. No turning there. And that's one thing I am loving for Max. If you do get sent one way, you can recover really, really fast and just turn instantly to the other. Come on, there you go. Really aggressive. That is one thing I'm loving about him because he is so fast in the middle and that is something I did expect. Even though his acceleration is not great, the aggression is still going to boost it by a lot. And it's just going to make him get from point A to point B in literally a split second. Little flick up. Can I go for a cheeky LBY? Absolutely broken mechanic. And if you have the long passing Max has, it's going to work all day of the week. Going to go for a little press with him there. There you go. It's a beautiful read. And his standing tackle is outrageous. Honestly, if he gets near the ball, even has a chance to collect the ball, he is going to get the ball 10 out of 10 times. Once again, a beautiful switch. He can honestly switch the ball with both feet. And that is super effective in the midfield. Giving me an option. Go for a long shot. Why not at the end of the day? Now, it wasn't obviously the greatest angle. We can all admit that. But... It wasn't a bad shot. Like, the shot power was there. The accuracy was there. It's just, I wanted it to go a bit more, you know, top bins. I did put a lot of power into it, but it looks like it didn't lift off the floor. Little ball around the corner. Little flip flap to, oh, I wanted that flip flap to get that near post shot. But I'm honestly loving those, like, five-star skill moves with him in the midfield. Because I'm used to using players like Suzoko or Bakayoku and like that, like players like that. And they obviously don't have even four-star skill moves. So I don't even tend to do skill moves with my vid, uh, midfield. For me, it doesn't really matter too much. But to have like a five-star skillet in the midfield, it kind of feels weird. But at the same time, I kind of low-key like it because it gives me angles that I can just create with like a running scoop turn or like a McGeady spin and then instantly pass away. That's a really good press. And you see what I mean about him? The fact that I got sent one way, I honestly thought he was about to cut on to Salah's like left foot. And I thought it was going to be clear of day he was going to do it. And he did send me the wrong way. But I recovered really, really well because of Max's pace. Nice. That was a good read. Obviously, good read for me. But at the same time, I baited Sissoko going up so I can just get Max in behind there. And obviously, he was at the right place at the right time to me to switch to him and obviously do that. Nice. Get that interception. There you go. He used his strength to his full potential there. Kind of bodied off or even shielded off, if you want to call it, the player, which is always going to be nice because most attackers nowadays, all the meta players, they aren't the strongest. So that's what Max has obviously over every single attacker. There you go. I read the way he was going. That is unfortunate not to get the ball there because he did so well. I read the way he was going. He used his pace to obviously get into the position to try to get the tackle off, but didn't end up getting the full on tackle. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card is actually really, really nice. Like his pace when obviously in defense is outstanding. There is a bit of a few negatives, if you want to call it. 
about this card, but I'll get into that in a minute. Now, the 5 for 11, I didn't believe was obviously kind of big enough for a midfielder. If you are using this player, you have to use him alongside of like a 6 for 2 player. For example, I had obviously Zoko next to him, which I do believe they kind of worked really, really well with each other and kind of helped each other out, if you want to say it. But one thing I did notice was obviously he was missing out on a lot of interceptions. Now, high, high work rates does get fixed with stay back while attacking. Even though Suzoko has obviously different work rate, they kind of still was on like the same level. Even Suzoko was going a bit too high sometimes while Max was staying back. Now, the five star skill moves is unexpected, obviously, for a midfielder to have, but at the same time, it was actually really nice because I could do like the McGeely and like the running scoop turn to like create angles in the midfield. And I don't think everyone, everyone expects. A midfielder to have five star skill moves so if you obviously pull out a five star skill move with a midfielder it's gonna catch them off guard and you're gonna create an angle for yourself that's big that's gonna be very unexpected for your opponent now the four star weak foot really felt like a four star you could even call it a five star to be fair to you that's how good it was it felt like i was passing with the right foot i could pass with my left i could pass with the right and it was all good pace wise now the acceleration slacked a little bit but that's when the aggr aggression came into play when he was on the ball going forward, now the aggression doesn't really get into play. So he felt very slow, very clunky. And then it obviously got into the rhythm a little bit. But then on defense, it was instant. The aggression kicked in and the acceleration got boosted pretty much up to the sprint speed. And that's how good he is in the midfield when transitioning from one side completely to the other. Finishing wise, I took one long shot. It was like a low key, like a low driven, I think it was. But all I did was click B. But... I don't know, long shots don't really go in this year, so it's one of those ones where I never really look at long shots this year, especially. Passing-wise was unbelievable. You can literally do everything you want with this guy to do with passing, obviously. The LB-wise, the little wide passes down uh, on the ground, the little, you know, tick attacker play and all of that was perfect. Dribbling on the ball, he doesn't feel great on the ball. He's more of a calm, composed player than anything. A person that will take, uh, touch a ball, shield off a player, obviously, and then just pass it away. Do not go on little dribble runs with this guy. If you are in a tight angle, he's got a 5-star skill move, so pull out like a McGeady or a running scoop turn, and you should be good. Interceptions, as I said, he missed out on a few because of his uh, because of his height. But at the same time, it wasn't like the end of the world because his defensive awareness did really help him and put him in the right place at the right time in most occasions. Standing tackle, I really did enjoy the standing tackle because when it was like a clear cut standing tackle, he would go in and he would 100% get the ball. When it was more of a 50-50, I would say for him, it was more of like a 7, no, sorry, an 80-20. 80% 80 of him getting the ball, 20% of him being really unlucky, getting wrong, wrong enemy obviously EA doing what they do best but slide tackle I don't think we had an opportunity to do a slide tackle so that was a bit disappointing 99 stamina up and down the pitch he gave me passing options going forward so that is something I love to see strength he used his strength that is something I do agree with the 85 strength is definitely there he was shielding he was shielding he was bodying players left right and center aggression as I said increased the pace but at the same time he was winning a lot of 50 50s now I have to give this card a rating out of 10 and I did really, really enjoy him. And he kind of reminds me of like a 4B back in the season pass. I think it was last season pass. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I don't believe he deserves higher than that simply because he doesn't feel amazing going forward on the ball. But he's always going to give me a passing option. His pace is good. His strength is good. His aggression is good. And his defensive stats are outstanding. He is also 5-star, 4-star. But I feel like 9 out of 10 is perfect for this guy. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.